Just wanted to... Cut! Now it's the key to baking. It's not like the most appetizing from this uh, <laughs> point of view. This is gonna be so cute. This smells like Christmas. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Grace. I make pregnancy and lifestyle content here on YouTube. And today, it's December 20th, five days till Christmas. I can't believe it. And I'm gonna be baking some Christmas cookies, but I'm not going to be doing it alone. I'm going to be joined by my lovely husband, Davis. Wow! <laughs> Those special effects, man, they're so good. We'll also be joined by Baby Girl. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I'm currently uh, 30 weeks pregnant with our first baby, so she'll be our sous chef today. So today we're going to be making um, one of Davis's favorite Christmas cookies. You want to tell him what it is? Gingerbread man. Yeah. We're going to be making um, cut out gingerbread cookies and icing them and decorating them and they should be delicious. So the recipe we're using is from Sally's Baking Addiction. I found it on uh, Pinterest. I'll link it down below but it's for gingerbread cookies. They're supposed to be crispy on the edges, um, soft in the middle, and have lots and lots of spices in them, which sounds really good. Prep time, four hours. We have to let it chill, oh. <laughs> unfortunately. It cannot take four hours <laughs> to make a, some cookies. So we have all the ingredients behind us. Is everything we're going to need. And we are gonna go ahead and get started. Step one, add lots of butter. It's always a good start. Yeah. Does anyone else really like the smell and the taste of just like pure molasses? Do you like it, David? Um, yeah, I think it's good. It's good check. Oof, are we gonna have two thirds cup? Mm. Close enough. Hopefully. All right, let me just uh, sit here for a few minutes. Watch the technique. Wow. <laughs> wow. So good. Culinary school, pan off. Three and a half cups of flour? Yep. This is looking oh, really good. Yeah, three and a half cups of flour. Now we are going to add our dry ingredients. Now Davis, what's the key to flour? Well, in culinary school they taught me, do not overmix the flour. What's the other one? Don't pack the flour like I am not doing now. <laughs> okay, I'm not packing it though. I'm just like leveling it out. Uh -huh. I'm not like pressing. Yeah. Okay. And it wasn't culinary school that taught me that. It was Grace. Davis is just kidding, by the way. He hasn't gone to culinary school. But you wouldn't know <laughs> to look at him, right? The <laughs> techniques are flawless. He always Got makes it. fun of me because I always tell him that about the flour. Don't overmix. Don't pack it. Oh yeah. And now it's the key turn. to baking. Now 
I was excited for this recipe because it calls for a full tablespoon of ginger. What is that noise? <laughs> See, I like ginger noise. <laughs> <laughs> A little extra. Okay, mm. and then we need a Let's tablespoon see. of cinnamon. Okay, and then we need half a teaspoon of ground allspice. And half a teaspoon of cloves. Wow, I like your butter dish. Hey, thanks, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Davis just got me this butter dish for Christmas because I broke our last um, butter dish because of my pregnant clumsiness. Oops. <laughs> it's an early Christmas present. Mm, clove smells so good. They smell like Christmas to me. I think that's it. Don't overmix. You ready? I'm ready. Ooh. I gotta do it slow at first so the flour doesn't. It's looking thick. I like the sound effects. And then you do it on the high to kind of pull it all together. And then you stop. We'll give it one scrape down and then we'll call it good. Oh, that smoked. looks so good. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. It smells like Christmas. It smells like gingerbread. Okay. All right, how is it, babe? Ooh. Is it good? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Wow, it's really spicy. Really? Like in a good way though. Ooh, I can't wait to try it. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's super tasty. So now we have to, I think, chill this for like three hours. Three hours? Oh, That's what it hours. said. Are we really gonna do three hours? Maybe like two. Maybe like one in the freezer? <laughs> we'll see. It will be chilled one way or another. Maybe three hours. All right, we're supposed to put it into two separate discs. Wrap it in plastic wrap before we chill it. I guess while we chill it. It's not like the most appetizing <laughs> from this uh, <laughs> point of view. It does look a little bit poopish. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> oh, I see. It's okay, we're Did gonna... you learn this from Chef Ramsay? Uh, yeah. Actually, no, he's not much of a baker. This is um, straight from the old Paul Hollywood. Paul Hollywood. <laughs> Comment down below if you guys watch The Great British Baking Show, too. Because I love it. I've watched all the seasons. I think I've rewatched the whole thing at least once. Okay. Wow. I'm impressed with my skills. Are you going for Star Baker this week? I'm star baker every week. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It doesn't look like a disc though. That's more of like a cube. How's that? Now it's a disc. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm impressed. You want to do this one? Mm, I think I'll leave you to it. <laughs> I don't know if I can live up to that. All right. We're gonna throw these in the fridge for about three hours. It is 12.45 right now, so we'll see how we do. Hello. Hello. It is now 3.27. Almost, we the full three hours. Yeah, I think we waited a very respectable almost three hours. And um, in the meantime, we had some lunch. We started the Taking Care of Babies Newborn course, that was exciting. I watched some Gilmore Girls, played Thanks. some games. Yeah. It's good. And now um, we are going to take the cookies out of the fridge, roll them out, cut them out, bake them. All right. 
So you're supposed to do one at a time so that it stays nice and cold. Okay. All right. I'm gonna grab the rolling pin. Rolling pin. Put down some flour. You're supposed to flour it, right? I don't know. Oh, we'll get the oven preheated. Mm. Now, do you want to roll or do you want me to roll? Oh, you can roll. There's two discs. Oh, okay. I'll watch you do it first. It's like a nice solid brick. Okay. Is this going to be enough? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She did say in the recipe that it would be kind of crumbly. Hmm. It looks good. It looks about like a quarter inch. So we have. A gingerbread man, of course. We have a tree, Christmas tree. And we have an Oregon <laughs> that I got in a class for some reason. And a snowflake. Yay! All right, so you kind of want to flower it up. I'm going to try to do it as close to the edge as you can. Yeah. He's gonna be so cute. I want to do mostly gingerbread men. Okay. Maybe just a few of the other ones. All right, so we are going to um, yep, keep rolling these out and get another batch going. I'll show you when they're done. Done baking. We should um, do this video again next year with our baby. Yeah. Oh my gosh. They smell amazing. They look done. Yeah, they do. Don't eat it. Eat it! Don't touch it. <laughs> wow, that's hot. Mm. Mm. Like you're in a commercial. <laughs> it's really good. A bit stodgy. All right, we are done with baking the cookies. Right? Well, almost. Not quite. And we are just gonna whip up some icing to go with them. Also, I made a smiley face with the leftover dough. 
Pretty artistic. Yeah. Super <laughs> artistic. <laughs> so you need a cup and a half of powdered sugar. You try not to do that. <laughs> then we need a half a teaspoon of pure vanilla. Did you do it right? <laughs> no, you didn't. Two, two and a half tablespoons of milk. All right. <sighs> Take them out, Grace. Those look perfect. They look delicious. And right now, put the greatest masterpiece in. It's truly a masterpiece. It is so good. Look at how good that looks. And there he is, out of the oven. So perfect. Ooh, it's perfect. Um. The angle god. <laughs> Hi! Now we're gonna decorate our cute cookies. We were going to do colored frosting, but then uh, we decided to keep it classy and easy and just do white. So are you starting with this guy? Mm-hmm. This is our royal icing. I made us some super fancy icing bags. It has toes. Exactly. That's cute. Here's my first one. I love it. They kind of messed up on the right toe. So they all kind of molded together. <laughs> like my snowflake. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's good. Looks good. I showed Davis the trick that if you take a gingerbread man and then turn it upside down, you can make a reindeer. That's what I'm gonna do next. Big eyes. Well, oh, it's reindeer. the reindeer. It's the reindeer. Yeah. You like his horns? Mm hmm. This, I don't think this is what reindeer horns look like. They're antlers. Oh, I'm sorry. By the way, That's what I meant. Oh, 
right, we officially finished our cookies. And they look wonderful. Um, which one is your favorite that you made, Davis? Mm, I'd say probably this one. That one. That one's super cute. I think my favorite I made was either this tree or my sunbathing gingerbread lady. It was also pretty dang good. Okay, and the final thing, we have to taste them, test them. All right, which one are you gonna eat? <laughs> Here, let's split this one. All right. Mm. It's good. Mm. It could be a little crunchy, but soft on the inside. Yeah. It seems like a little extra sweetness on it. Mm. Like a cup of chai tea. China. This would be so good. Yeah, chai tea. Mm. Yum. Um, we just wanted to wish you guys a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. We hope you have a wonderful time celebrating. Hope you are safe and have some yummy cookies to eat and just enjoy spending the holidays with your friends and family. I know we're definitely looking forward to it. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more baking cooking content or you want to see more of Davis. And uh, <laughs> don't forget to hit subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every week and um, pretty soon there will be a very cute little baby joining us. So that's going to be fun. You don't want to miss that. And from all three of us, well, all four of us, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.